it's a new year. Dare say it's a new day. It's 2023, and um, as you can see with the title, I'm about to have a discussion about man shit. So buckle up, sit down, and we're about to have a whole lot of fun. Because today, as I record this, and actually I wasn't recording shit. I wasn't planning to, but I was listening to much conversation. So, so you can understand this caveat. This is pre-recorded. So, right now, this is 2022. It's not hit 12 yet. Um, this is right now not even 2023. You're just seeing this in 2023. But anyway, God's schematics. I was listening to Lovely T and I've been seeing some things here and there on Twitter, trending, what have you. And I don't watch Drink Champs as much. I heard the Amber Rose is on there. She got into it with Murder Mook. And then uh, I heard about Brittany Renner. Um, in the conversation of also Nick Cannon, <laughs> you know, Brian, I heard an interview that Acorn did discussing Nick Cannon. And like I said, I know that a lot of people that might listen to this, and I know this is a lot of men, they think that when you just say shit, you be pandering the bitches, nigga, you know, you know what I'm saying? And no, this ain't Derrick Jackson. Um, see, I think with logic. Plus, I'm a dude. A lot of the shit that some of y'all niggas do, that I think these rappers do, I actually did before. I've been in Tory Lane's position where you got fucking fuck, fuck, two women at the same time. I had no gunshots went off. I mean, I did get beat up and pulled out of a moving car, but that's a story for another day. But the point being is I'm an older gen. And some of the things that I hear with dudes, hmm, it's interesting. And I always say this, that the foolishness of the few drowns out the truth of the many. Now, what I'm about to do is do some man explaining, but to the men, see, women, y'all can tag along for the ride, you know, but I mean, don't get it twisted. Don't think I'm gonna have, I'm, I'm have my states about y'all too. So, because if I gotta say something about the guys, I gotta say something about the women, all right? So, welcome to the Smokers Lounge. Here on Anchor, y'all know what to do. Counting all the summer champs, aka the Point Rap Star, allmylinks.com, backslash Point Rap Star. Four sponsors, lsworld.com, xsitebunny.com, racismmagazine.com, and blusherotica.com. Proud member of the GW District Black Podcasting Network. So go to shopgwdistrict.com and get some shopping done. Also find me five days a week, five days a week in the mornings on fullyspotradio.com, tv.com Another place you can find me. And last but not least, place you can find me, BGP LLC app. I just want to get that out of the way because I don't know how like, my mic like go because when I do these shows, I don't have a plan. I just, whatever pops in my head, I go with it. You know, so it's raw, it's uncut. That's how I want my podcast to be. So, the, I guess the forwarding of this, if it was a book, is that when I was listening to Akon, right? 
He's from Africa. I also had the conversation at work with the maids about she knew a female that actually went through this ritual that's in one of the African tribes where they sew up the woman's pussy. And when she gets married, the guy rips it open to fuck her. And a lot of ladies try to leave Africa for that shit. So when I was listening to Akon, what he was saying about money and all this, let me make this clear. Money does not make you a father. He has a father that didn't get a chance to have a hand in raising my daughters. I can see him become rich in this podcast shit, make a million, hit the lotto, give them each a million, two million dollars to set them for life. Let me tell you what I can't get back. I can't get back the time that was lost. And also, as a son, I didn't care if, if my dad bought gifts. I wanted my dad to come to my dad. I wanted him to come see me run track. I wanted him to come see me play basketball. You know, I wanted him to show up at school whenever I had to go on stage. I would have loved it if my dad was there the first time when I did a fashion show when I was in high school. You feel me? That shit. I, I don't think I ain't hear my dad tell me he loved me till I was 35. You can't change time. So with that being said, you talking about having multiple kids with multiple women and you think money is going to make it cool. That you think that your money is going to enable you to have a close relationship with all nine of your kids. It's in different households. See, what's crazy is when I watch Sister Wives, no one ever talks about the kids. The kids are seeing this one, their father and their four mothers or their mother fighting with another the, the other mother and they seeing this he got to deal with four women and you see the hell he going through they got a reality show now granted yeah nick nick Cannon, yeah he's worth millions and billions but let me explain something to you mariah carey said uh nick you need to start spending time with your kids that should tell you something it is fucking hard as hell. Unless you, it's, see, people, people, grandma and granddaddy had nine kids because they lived in the house. Now, now some granddaddy had different families, granted. But for the most part, your granddaddy who had, and your grandmama, they stayed together, had a lot of kids. Bruh, that was a lot of kids. That was heck enough. They all in the same house. You dealing with nine different personalities, and different ranges of age, and the whole nine fighting for the bathroom, all that shit. So now you talking about that, and that was with one woman. Now you got multiple women with kids, and they expecting the same treatment that you giving that baby mama and he, and, and, and that child. They want the same treatment. See, what's funny, Lover T was saying that these with, with these guys that have all these babies, that they want to do it because, you know, they just want to fuck a bunch of articles and see what kind of babies they can make. No, nah, you're giving them too much credit for thinking. They want to fuck all these bitches they don't want to pull out. Their thought process is, well, shit, I'm rich, so what the fuck? That's exactly what they were thinking. I'm rich. What the fuck? 
Because anybody that sit there and thinks that it's about money, just listen to Acorn. He, trust me, he he don't spend a lot of time with his kids. And it's going to show because one day he's going to be like Master P. One of his kids is going to speak out on Instagram. This, this thing about a lot of these celebrity kids, a lot of these motherfuckers is fucked up in the head. Because trust me on this, it's hard enough to show attention to all your kids in the same household, let alone in different ones. And trust me, kids rather see their dad and their mom than any gift. That's the greatest gift that they've seen. Spending time with them. Period. So it's kind of like dudes going around fucking a bunch of chicks and having different baby mamas. I'm sorry, it's not a good look. Because like I said, at the end of the day, it's not because you was in love or what have you. No, you didn't want to pull out. They don't say with Nick Cannon, with Acorn, he from Africa. But even to me, I question some of their goddamn motherfucking practices to begin with. <laughs> I don't give a fuck they the motherland. It's just, some shit just don't make sense to me. I don't see why you want that many women around. There ain't no fucking way you, it's, it's paradise. You talking about four different women, and I'm going to say this again. They want their child to be treated the same as the other. So no, it's not gonna be a happy paradise. I hate to tell you that. Facts. Think about this. Even if you you marry another chick that got kids, and they see you spending time with that other child, they gonna feel some type. The baby mama gonna feel some type of way, which in turn gonna make the child feel some type of way. Hence, why Mariah Carey said what she said. It's not, it, I'm tired of hearing this shit, and it's just me, okay, at the end of the day. Y'all can hate me if you want to, fellas. We can't sit here and judge a female if she fucks a bunch of dudes. Because all the reasons why y'all want to give, or why she cannot fuck up a dude, is shit that men actually came up with to explain to why they can't. And some of the women fed into it. In look at history, men always had multiple women. In my opinion, my third, all men would, if not most men, would like to be in an open marriage or a poly situation. It's just how much of a narcissist are you? In that situation, yeah, some of them like no, no, you can't fuck nobody else. I actually heard that on a reality show. He, 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 he gets to get one, one a year. She don't. It don't work unless both of y'all have the option. It has to be even killed. But I digress. But the point being is, women have the right to have sex with as many people as they freaking want. As long as they are responsible. Now, when you talk about multiple baby daddies, I heard that argument um, with Andrew Tate. Say, well, you know, she has multiple baby. She she fucking multiple men. And she get pregnant. She don't know who the father is. You know, that's why they have blood blood tests. <laughs> that's why God made DNA tests. Or even better, here's a thought. Since you're fucking for dudes, why would you fuck with a condom? I'm just saying. See, the problem is, is that one, dudes don't want to pull out. A lot of y'all females are willing to let him bust one in. Because I guarantee you, every last one of the females that with Nick 
It wasn't because he had money. It, no, they actually fell in love with this motherfucker, and he had money. So understand, it was just the money was a bonus. Because I know niggas that got nine fucking kids like his ass do, and they ain't got that much money. So you got to realize that we keep beholden to this old school mentality thought process. Now, I get over there in the other countries, in Africa, Russia, what have you, they have they, they have they shit, okay? But that don't necessarily mean, I mean, that's their way. I'm not going to say it's right or it's wrong, but that's their way. An individual has a choice to choose how they want to do their shit. And that's just facts. You just don't do it because it sounds good. It's supposed to make sense to a certain extent. I just find it like <laughs> this hilarious with the conversation that men be having sometimes. Because even to the point where even with uh, Amber Rose and her and Murder Moot was going back and forth. And it, this is how I feel about the situation. When they talk about slut and females making money as IG models or what have you. And Lovely T, actually, she's a bad chick. You know, she brought some good points, which I totally agree with. Actually, you probably would have said the same thing. The fellas, y'all do remember the video vixens. Y'all do remember because video vixens, the female rappers, had to now start looking like video vixens. The video vixens wasn't making as much money and social media started to pop off. So guess what? And guess what now? Then you had OnlyFans, which opened it to where a video vixen type chick could get money by doing a little freaky shit. Because now it's cool to be freaky. You know, I said the one thing about porn back in the day compared to now is that it was a little bit more shame back then. Because people, they, they, they were worried about being seen. Straight up. Now, they want to be seen. They want that viral moment. But that was the whole point of the video Vixen, was to get in music video, to get in the magazine scenes. So that they could be noticed and get opportunities. That's facts. So IG popped off. <laughs> I mean, let's keep it 100. Back in the day, girls could actually make money off of having a membership side of a website, which was just risque pictures. Women figured out how to monetize their beauty. Something that they wasn't able to do back in the day because the only thing they could do was capitalize, not monetize. Let me explain the difference. I own my likeness. I put out content. I own that content. Thus, I can continuously make money like a studio. You have chicks have whole comedy acts on their fucking TikTok. You have YouTubers. Think about all that. And let's be real. You're only going to pay attention to the girls that are actually fucking good looking that are built like an Amber Rose. Built like an Amber Rose. Why do we know Amber Rose? Because she was a sexy ass motherfucker. The fantasy girl is what? The IG girl, porn star? Do, 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 do I need to say? Y'all motherfucker jerk off the Beyonce. Come on. Even porn, what are we looking for? Yeah. Porn producers. Male talent.
shit, let's, let's keep it 100. And see, the reason it, so it's funny because 9 out of 10, the woman that the man cheats with is a slut or have sluttish baby or she's now. Hey, everybody, it's Harvey Levin from TMZ. We have officially made it to 2023, which means a new year of amazing pop culture stories and all new episodes of the TMZ podcast. We sit down with our news team and we give breakdowns of the big stories of the day, stories, many of them that we break, and also just generally stories that you care about. You can check out the TMZ podcast Monday through Friday right here on Spotify. Essie, she's freaky. Anything you equate to being a slut. Now, is it true people becoming famous but not really doing anything? Yeah, but that was part of the course when TikTok and Twitter and and it became viral. It's about viral moment. But we know some people that had that viral moment, they don't last long. Plus, you also have examples such as Kim Kardashian. Miss be nasty. Who else? Uh, shoot. Everyone, what's going on now was prerequisite with the sex tapes. So, come on. Let's keep it 100. I remember Jet Beauty of the Week. They ain't had nothing up in them. Jet, Jet Magazine, for some of you old school people, had Beauty of the Week. Hell, Trina Fatu, pro wrestler, was the last Jet Beauty of the Week. Stop playing. I had I had that issue. I used to collect them motherfuckers, dog, straight up. To keep it 100. Now, also at the other end is to ladies, y'all do sometimes have a little shame for how you move. Because the reason why I say that is because nothing against, I understand both sides of the fence with that argument with the girl, Anna Rose, and the dude, Moop. Okay. Well, Amber Rose, it's kind of like what I said when it came to me. You were that you you supposed to be portrayed as that lady. You made slut walk. You made the term slut cool. The whole nine. You used to tell females, do not be ashamed of having a body count on any of that sexual, sexual uh femininity and all this and this, this, and this, right? But you were bothered when this dude said something in the verse. Literally pissed off. Which to me, and plus hearing Britney Winner saying that sometimes y'all sit back and be like, maybe I did too much. But, I was too much of stuff. but here's my point. Don't do anything you, you might regret later. Because yeah, when you I ain't say this with dudes. Yeah, no different than women. A lot of the women we gonna fuck. We ain't marrying them. We didn't marry them. And this is before my ass even did porn. Some of them, some of them, uh, you know, he was saying, well, you know, with women, they used to go through a bunch of wrong dudes. Yeah, because. There's different women. There's some women that, you know, they, they on their Christian shit. There's some women that, uh, shit, I like you, you like me, let's cut through the chase. Dude, I hate to say this, women kind of control it. They they know whether or not they're going to, they know whether, they know who they're going to fuck, when they're going to fuck. It's just our job not to say anything stupid to fuck it up. And it's just facts. 
They give you several hints, this, that, and third. But to to be thinking that um, women shouldn't sleep around or or fuck or this, this, and well, from my experience from talking to many ladies, many of them was in unhappy marriages, sexless marriages, and when they got divorced, they found themselves sexually. Now, in the case of when you want to talk about religion, we want to discuss marriage. Once you marry, you should be able to do whatever you want with you and your wife. Whatever y'all dream may be. If y'all want to try to do BDSM, if y'all want to 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 have a threesome with somebody, y'all want to do it would be in the annals of your fucking marriage. But see what the problem is is that y'all stuck on that what Christian marriage supposed to be, not actually what he was stating. But I don't feel like getting into what the Bible was saying and what y'all probably was misinterpreted half the damn time. So, to me, men and women have the right to play the fucking field. If they choose to. A woman shouldn't be slut-shamed for what she does or who she fucks or how many people she fucks or even how she fucks. But see, the, 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 but once again, that's a Christian thought process that been put in our heads. Plus, on top of that, like I said, also the traditional, the traditional shit. Because you got to remember, back in the day, men were supposed to be the dominant species. They both been the kings and all this. So they figured that the king need to fuck more than his wife so he won't go crazy. You know what I'm saying? He won't go nuts. But the, but what did he tell you? The queen was getting her too. See, think about this. It's, it's crazy as hell. Like, I remember Henry VIII, he killed one of his wives because he wanted to get divorced and basically said that she basically had a goddamn, he might well said a gangbang out this bitch because he said she was fucking this person, that person, this person. Didn't have proof. He just told him to say that. Could have just got the fucking divorce and told him to leave. He's the king. Good to be the king, don't you think? They were the head of church. He, 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 that's his law. Fuck, fuck them. You see what I'm saying? It's like men get cheated on, they out. Women get cheated on, they stay around. It's because we are taught certain things and we and, and, and it's in certain ways we pose to be and how a relationship supposed to be. But in actuality, it's a lot of things that I was taught what a relationship posed to be in. And I was dead, and they were dead fucking wrong. They were off like a bitch. There was no discussion of poly or open marriages back in them days. But I said, that thing about it, I probably wouldn't have been down for, I mean, really, I probably would have been down for openness. I was willing to date this girl named Ro who was in a relationship with a stud or a butch or, you know, transgender individual. But not just straight up hardcore levels, bless me, just say what it is. I was like, I didn't care. I'll, I'll date you. <laughs> Fuck, that did, did, did. It threes with me and her and Sanders. It, 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 I mean, I, hey, people, I did porn. Yeah, 
but I was doing porn before it was porn. I was doing porn shit. But the point being is, I did not know. If I had known, it would be in certain things, in certain ways I would have moved when I was younger that wouldn't hurt females' hearts. And I'm getting sick and tired of soul tired shit. I get that. I understand that conversation this, that, and third. But here's the fucking point. Uh, who cares? <laughs> who cares? Because everyone that you have fucked, you can't sit and tell me you was madly in love with them. That's the difference. I mean, for sake of argument, yeah, do I believe in soul ties and all that? Yeah, I, I, I do believe in that spiritual shit. Don't get it twisted. But to me, I think that's white noise. Because I keep saying this, a woman can give away that pussy a million times, but she ain't gonna give away her heart and her mind but a few times. So what the fuck is the pussy? Think about a pimp. A pimp don't give a fuck about the pussy. He want that girl mine. A dog, you want their their mind. That's why I laugh at some of this shit because it's not because I think that I better these motherfuckers. It's not that or, you know, I think differently. Everyone had their opinion. It's cool. But the point being is when you think one-sided, you limit yourself in life. When you think one-sided, you limit you limit yourself in growth. Because think about it, fellas. Yeah, you want to know the reasoning why we don't have that conversation with our wives about a threesome or or swing apart, what have because of the way that y'all come off. Y'all make them feel inadequate as soon as you ask the fuck, as soon as you pop it. It, it ain't no, hey, babe, you know, I think what would be hot and, you know, okay, put it this way. Women can bring up that shit because they know how to soften the blow on the initial reaction. We don't. What you think about we bring another girl in the bedroom? <laughs> she made sure that he understands, no, you're good enough for me. You got great dick. I just want to fuck something else. And I don't want it to fuck up what we got because I love you and I'm not going to be with him. She hell, you can play too. Here's the funny part. Y'all don't even mention the fact that they can play. You just bring up the threesome. Now, if you bring up the threesome, say, yo, what about we bring somebody up to the bedroom? Another chick. Go ahead and say another chick and a dude. Another chick or maybe a dude. Or maybe we can get a couple, baby. I'm just saying, I mean, <clears throat> I would love to see you get fucked by somebody. I, I buy that sexy. That's the test. Because see, y'all motherfuckers don't can't handle watching your woman get fucked by somebody else or knowing that somebody else fucking your wife. But, but think about it. If, if she's doing her, you can do you. But see, the key is as long as your relationship is strong enough to handle that. Because a lot of y'all motherfuckers ain't mature enough to handle that shit. But at the same token, there's going to be ups and downs in what McCart. But if y'all love each other that much, y'all work through it. But see, the problem is, is that us as dudes, we're so scared of the initial reaction. We're so scared that she gonna say no. You feel me? And then look, if she shuts it down, say no, but then shit, it's done. But the reason why she shuts it down because you make it seem like she's inadequate, like you need something else. But see, also at the same token, 
That's why I say hey, you got to have it to where it's both. She got to be able to play too. Now, unless your wife is bisexual and she don't want no dick, she just want chick, you good. But not everybody got that. Once again, if you limit your thought process, you limit your experience. That's why if you notice most of the swing club couples, they're older. Because by then we didn't got we 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 know each other. We love each other. Just have fun. <laughs> Some of y'all young cats can handle that shit. Yeah, I see it. Others I see is called feelings. Dude, uh, some rapper told his girl he wanted to, to play with others. She cried. You know what I'm saying? It's because a lot of y'all dudes move like y'all want to be in an open relationship or marriage or poly, uh, amorous. You know? And then y'all look crazy when you see a woman with multiple dudes. But, but I mean, yeah, it's kind of shocking, but it, it happens. Is it surprising that she's a woman that got multiple women? I love that, don't you? Because I probably won't get the taste. But my point being is, is that just listen to all these conversations on a whole. And I'm not sitting here trying to say that some of these motherfuckers ain't got a point. There's some points, there's some truths and points in on both sides of it. But to me, I like looking in the middle. And this is what I see in the middle. And this is what I see what the problem is. We have to learn that we must sexual liberated now. I mean, when I sit there and watch the Playboy shit, and I was hearing how these fe- some of these females saying how confident they were to be a Playboy model. How powerful it felt. It, take away all the bad shit and talking about the confidence. I also hear about females with in porn, how confident they are. They're confident because they're sexually open and aware and confident in their sexuality and who they are. Simple as that. And like I said again, a lot of these motherfuckers, they're saying shit. Once again, the one that speaks out, it like this. Nick Cannon put out there that he was having all these kids. And Nick Cannon, you see the cracks, right? He who sit here and runs his fucking mouth and talk about it so damn much has the most problems with what he's talking about. Trust me, Akon, Akon is going to be that dude that his kids going to say some shit about his ass. I've seen the African, I've seen the African uh, TV shows that they have on Netflix. Yes, yes, they just like America. It's just Africa. And what they tell me just from watching them that oh yeah, Akon he yeah yeah he gonna have a goddamn succession situation when he when he, he kicked the bucket. Either. Because I'm sorry, your con- everything we do has consequences, good or bad. It's cause and effect, and there's also sacrifices. So when you make these decisions, yes, you take it into account, but you also be smart about those decisions that you make. Like I said, I'm not saying that. My only thing is. I look at a woman if she fucks a lot of dudes raw. Now she fucks a lot of dudes and she's safe about her shit. That's cool. 
I mean, people talk shit about Lori Harvey, but Lori Harvey ain't got no kids about none of them niggas. <laughs> and she said, yeah, I made them put on a condom. Because you want to know why? Niggas don't want to pull out. That's why Nick Cannon got 12 babies. Do you know what he said? I got the money. I got the money. If you get pregnant, fuck it. <laughs> I'm telling you. It ain't that deep. Sometimes women, y'all give us too much credit. Even though it's dumb what, what you give us credit for. But you give us too much credit. It's way simpler than that. It's way more to the core. These motherfuckers be having multiple babies. Jock didn't want to pull out. Shorty Low didn't want to pull out. Didn't want to put on a condom. Cause I can't even say the pull out game, but some no, a lot of times the pull out game works. <laughs> and sometimes it don't. But no, my point being is that a lot of like I said, a lot of conversation I'm here with men and in and how we look at females and the whole nine. People, we just had Roe versus Wade be overturned last year. So, we sit here and say we don't want the government to tell women what to do with their body. Why are we still telling them what to do with their body? Just a thought. Life is a learning experience. What's the point of the experience if you haven't learned anything? Smoke that over. See you next Thursday.